Hey everybody, happy November the 2nd. It is a Monday. I'm Pastor Sarah Ritchie. I am the minister of First Christian Church in San Bernardino, but for the moment I'm in my backyard. I read a wonderful meditation recently by Reverend Kathy Myers Wirt. It was about uh, using a pressure cooker to uh, uh, create cook beans and how we're all under so much pressure these days. And I'm not much of a cook, so I can't speak to what it's like to uh, use a pressure cooker, but I do know what it's like to blow up a balloon and you know, you, you, you blow it up and you blow it up and you blow it up and it gets big and then it gets bigger and bigger. And if you're not careful and you, you put too much pressure in it, boom, it explodes. That I know something about. I also know something about taking a balloon, that same balloon, and letting out a little air at a time, just a little bit at a time. I'm thinking of the pressure under which we find ourselves these days. Um, and I think we have to find ways to let the pressure out. So one of the ways I do that is that I take walks. Um, this morning I took a walk in our local park and um, enjoyed just the quiet time of listening to the birds and looking at nature and the other people in the park. Um, there was no agenda, just exercise and an attempt to kind of let the pressure out. Some of you um, do other things like like uh, Kathy, you, you cook, or maybe you bake. Uh, maybe some of you work in your yards. Um, others among you, maybe you read a good book. I mean, there are a lot of ways in which we can release pressure from our lives. Whatever works for you in the next mm, couple of days, I would say do that. Release that pressure open the valve, um, open up the, the head of the, the little balloon and let the air out a little bit. Allow yourselves to be at peace as much as you possibly can. Because for the next couple of days, it's going to be probably pretty crazy and um, difficult. And um, we need every opportunity we have to lower the pressure upon our lives. So with that being said, I encourage you all to remember to vote for whomever your candidate may be. Let your voice be heard and then let it go. Let it go. Be at peace with what happens in on the day after the election and the subsequent days after that and know that um, God is with us, even as we struggle with our uh, issues here in, on this planet, uh, in our society here in the United States, God's still here with us. Um, perhaps we just need to let go of some of that pressure and uh, uh, listen for God's soft, still voice. So, hey, God bless you all. I hope you have a good Monday, a good start to this new week, this new month in November. And may you be thankful and joyous and brave. And may God take care of you. Wear your masks, stay physically distanced, wash your hands, and I'll see you next time. Bye.